We should talk about some of the current uh, news items. Yeah, what's going on? It's a happy news day for once. Is it? Kind of. There's some funny stuff in the news. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just laughing at it because there's never nothing funny in the news. Never. I'm just, I'm just laughing at your setup. <laughs> you don't laugh at this John Carr guy? I'm, uh, well, yeah, he's a, he's a laugh riot. But now they're saying they, they won't let him uh, plead guilty to killing Jean Benet. Jean Benet Ramsey. That's the guy, John Carr. I'm just looking With at his him. pants up to his uh, nips and his uh, <laughs> his tucked in uh, powder blue freaking collared shirt. I didn't, even, I didn't even embrace his name. I just He's the dude, the teacher that knew it. I didn't even embrace his name as John the Carr. The creep. The, what a ghoul. But he doesn't look like he can even lift his own fingers. <laughs> nah, very weak. To, to kiss, she looked like she might have been able to take him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and, and fantastic we have to go here it's I, i've never heard of it before where white people can say they did something and people are trying to say it's a lie it's a lie it's a no i don't he think could, he did he didn't do it. actually you know it's a white guy and he he fits the profile the profile of guys that killed uh and, and sexually assault uh, young children it's always a white middle-aged white guy uh, you know, slender build. Uh, they all look the same. They got the same like lifestyle. The same. They grew up abused. It's it's the same thing. It's but rarely they, a black guy. The, the country, the country wants wants the the Ramses to had did it so bad. Yeah, that makes the better story. And and, and like, is let's say if somebody else came out and uh and what's the guy that threw his wife in the ocean with the with the damn uh oh uh, Scott Peterson Scott Peterson or, or God forbid OJ somebody actually comes out and and none of those guys did it people would be like no 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 they had to he's lying no this, well, this they, guy's first lying. of all there ain't no way anyone's coming for <laughs> in that OJ case OJ? oh but John but, but, uh, Scott Peterson Scott Peterson is a possibility why couldn't you just go fishing on Christmas Eve. Ah, <laughs> you dirty. The guy might have just wanted to bring a fish <laughs> home to his loving wife. <laughs> you dirty racist. <laughs> she went out jogging or you. something. I don't know. She's pregnant, jogging. I don't know. It's possible somebody else with the same fingerprints could have had their hand on that anvil. Could have happened. There's a John Carr in a preschool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, yeah. look, he just looks like he, he. Look, he looks like he. Uh, he's guilty of something. Uh, isn't yeah. he guilty of some things in Thailand to begin he's, with? Well, I, I think that's it. He was arrested there. Uh, I haven't heard exactly what it, what it was, but it seems like the smart move that he might have made is what they're saying is uh, to plead guilty to this, so he can get back so he can get back here because over there, yeah, they don't like uh, people over there they that do kill those you things and, and then yeah. bring you back to life and then sell your <laughs> organs. <laughs> That, that's what they do over there. They sell, they make sure your kidneys are good, and they sell yeah. them. <laughs> sell them right out. You see them making the deal while you're dying. Like, they just rip it out of you, and you're like, is that my kid? Are you selling my kidney? I'm still alive. <laughs> what are you, typo? No, type O and a half. Good enough. <laughs> Take it away. Anybody need nipples? Anybody? <laughs> How about a left butt cheek? <laughs> Here we have a left butt cheek. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> How about a lung? We got a lung, a lung, a lung, a lung, a lung. What do you need? A lung? <laughs> They're going, <gasps> just oh, ripping organs out of you. Just as they treat you like William Wallace. And <laughs> take your face off. Yeah, he better plead. He better say. But so he comes here, and now they find out that he didn't do it. What do they do? Do they send him back to Thailand? Extradite him to Thailand? Is there an extra no. di extradition? Uh, no, no you can't be extradited. So he just gets well, to walk country. around and go. I think he, he skipped out on some charges, though. That's why he was over in Thailand. He skipped out on some earlier charges he had here in the States. Well, I can't believe we're, we're rationalizing that he might not have did it. They're it, starting to say it. that it's, it's very suspicious. So, yeah, you guys want to hear about him? We got some his great wife, audio. His yeah. wife's got an alibi for him. R well, listen to this. Though. Yeah. Listen to this clip. Let's give a little. I love oh, my God. God. And and you die accidentally. Yeah. Before causing a sensation in the grasp of Thai authorities, John Mark Carr was a father, a husband, and a teacher with roots almost a world away in northwest Alabama. John was a, uh, a likable student, uh, outgoing, uh, intelligent, uh, 
you couldn't help but like John. Uh, he, he, he had something going all the time. Marion County That's School Superintendent Bravel Jackson remembers a boy raised by his grandparents in the small town of Hamilton who graduated and attended college. In 1984, when Carr was 19, according to the Associated Press, he married a 13-year-old local girl. Oops. The marriage was annulled the following year after the bride said she feared for her life and safety. In 1989, Carr married old. a second time, this time to a 16-year-old in Georgia. <laughs> oh. what, is, ugh, what is that? Hair? Oh, get away. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Oh, he is a whack job. Ooh, get out of here. Yeah, he, uh, he did not do this. He did it. I don't think he, he did, did it. it. I believe he I did think it. he's a pedo. I think he's done awful, horrible things. But this one, I think he's fascinated with the crime. Um, he wound up moving to uh, the same town that Polly Class was uh, murdered in after she was murdered. He moved to that town and kept a copy of her uh, death certificate. And he was always he was trying to write books about uh, adults and how they prey on children. And he knew a lot about the Ramsey case. But whether he had a connection with them or the uh, ability to, to kill her, uh, this that's is, still up in the air. If this, if this is, his, is he's a super genius. Super genius. Super yeah. genius. He's a he's this is genius to to be yeah. able to pull this one off. Yeah. To think about pulling this one off. Mm-hmm. Well, more audio here. Fired from many, many schools. Nineteen ninety six, <laughs> the year John Bonet was murdered, Carr came home as a substitute teacher in elementary school. But almost immediately there were problems. Of complaints from parents that uh rumors that were going on in the in the community and uh uh I could not find any any legal uh, ramifications as far as any arrest had been had been made at that time with local authorities. But uh, we felt like it was in our best interest that uh, he not be allowed to substitute in our school. Carr was let go after just three months. Two years later, he lost another substituting job at another nearby school system. How did he get after another more job? Undisclosed complaints. <clears throat> Jesus. The hell did they get a job again after that? If there's any suspicion, any inkling that you're doing these things, teachers should be uh, off the list of uh, jobs. Now, is he still married? No, she divorced him. Oh, okay. In divorce papers filed oh, okay. in 2001, <laughs> his second wife, Laura, said her now ex-husband had been told that he was too affectionate with the children. <laughs> yes. But in spite of what he says, Carr's ex-wife, Laura, told San Francisco television station KGO her ex-husband couldn't have killed John Benet Ramsey because he was with her the entire Christmas season of 1996. According to school officials, Carr was substituting in Franklin County, Alabama at the time, working up to December 18th, a week before John Benet was killed in her Colorado home. And he returned to work when classes started in January. Ah, oh, the news is going to look stupid. Mm. They mm. are going to look stupid. Yeah. Uh, let's go to uh, who the heck. Who the heck, what's up? Hey, guys, how you doing this morning? All right. Black Jimmy, how are you? Black the, Jimmy. The, the thing with this black <laughs> job is, is he wishes he'd done this job, you know? He wishes, and he's just putting himself in a place where he could have done it. It's his fantasy. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, those eyes going back and forth and stuff, he's completely not right. Said he loves her. I love John Bonet. Right. It was an accident. Thank you. By the way, Sally uh, from OAVirus.com, we found that bastard in Bangkok among, uh, just updated, uh, 932 million people 10 years after the fact, but we still can't find Osama in an effing desert. <laughs> yeah. Finally, uh, this is what he was up to in Bangkok. Bangkok. Or I, I love or maybe not. Let's see. But Laura Carr also said John Mark Carr was fascinated with the John Bonet murder, researching it extensively according to KGO. He was also reportedly interested in the murder of twelve year old Polly Class in Petaluma, California. Carr moved his family there in two thousand. He lost another teaching job in 2001 after being charged with possessing child pornography. He pleaded not guilty. Uh, no comment on that. 
By the time John Mark no, Carr was on. making his stunning public statement, come on. authorities say he had traveled extensively on the run from the California charges for five years. A resume posted to an online service for teachers paints Carr as a globe-trotting educator. It cannot be fully verified. But it claims Carr recently taught young children in Honduras, oh Costa Rica, Germany, the Netherlands, and South Korea before starting a new job this week teaching second grade in Bangkok. Oh, my oh God. That's like, that's like going to a strip club every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sick half. Oh, I like how he <clears throat> says, yeah, I, uh, I uh, killed John Bonet. I was with her when she uh, died, but it was an accident. Uh, what about the child pornography uh, on your computer? Hey, no comment. No comment. Hey, I don't want to comment on that. <laughs> You're fessing up to the fact that uh, you killed a, a little girl, but I uh, don't know what's on my hard drive. Hmm. All right. What a ghoul. This guy just is uh, bad news anyway, whether he did it or not. <laughs> well, he did. Whether he did this one or not. Come on. <laughs> You're going to Bangkok to teach the second grade? And like we said yesterday, I think, what do you have to do in Thailand to get arrested? Yeah. Can you well, imagine what you have to do? Fess up to killing a, a young girl, apparently. Then they'll arrest you. All I know is I saw a special on HBO about Bangkok, and there were girls um, using a straw and darts and uh, popping balloons around a stage. Well, it's very competitive. And, and smoking cigarettes, yeah. yet being able to carry on a complete conversation at the same time, if you catch my drift. Well, the clubs are very competitive in, uh, now, yeah, in now Thailand. You're not over there doing the, uh, the making fun of them chink eye finger thing. <laughs> Is that it? When you pull, if you pull, your, when you pull uh, the corner of your eyes, chinky style. <laughs> corner of your eyes, they'll, they'll get angry and arrest you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> at least that's a reason. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's called a fall, too. <laughs> Four oh. Four two in Bangkok. <laughs> Pulling your eyes. <laughs> Chink style. <laughs> Jesus, Patrice. <laughs> you don't want to go with the black jokes, but you'll throw an Asian under the bus hey, in a second. Look. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Nick in Wisconsin. Bangkok is to pedophiles what Mecca is to Muslims. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, uh, we'll let that sit there. We got the. We got